Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been gone for a while. Um, things have just been pretty crazy, but I feel like stuff is starting to get back to normal. Um, I'm 17 weeks pregnant and I had hyperemesis gravidarum or hypermesis, I don't know how you say it. Um, and I'm finally getting around to where I can like eat and kind of function to get again and getting like my energy back. So 17 weeks looking like that. I feel like just the last few weeks I've gotten like quite a bit bigger. Um, and I, I've been so sick, like I lost a ton of weight so like my clothes don't fit and I have like these baggy clothes and then this belly. It's, it's a, uh, it's been a thing. It's been a been a thing. So anyway, not that any of that matters, but I um, am ready to do a empties video. I can't remember. I think I did a, an empties of, I don't know, several months ago. Um, so this is like several months worth of my stuff. And if you haven't watched one of these from me before, um, I just go through and tell you what I think about the items, how much they cost, would I repurchase them, and then if there's anything about the packaging, like as far as it being recyclable or anything like that, I will um, comment on that as well. Okay, so let's jump on into it. So first off, I just, I see a ton of different wipes um, and masks. So I'm gonna grab those out. So I have three Neutrogena makeup remover towelettes. These are the ones I always use. I buy them at Costco. I'm not sure on the price at Costco. So I just looked up on Amazon. You can pay $8.97 to get a pack of two and it's a pack of 25. I think they just work really good and they're not that expensive. So I will keep rebuying these. But again, I buy them at Costco, not Amazon. And I'm pretty sure it's cheaper. So next are these face masks from Tula skincare the star bright nourishing and brightening mask these things were amazing like i actually am thinking about buying them just because they made my skin feel so nourished and soft for like a couple of days after like the first day for sure but holy crap this stuff is awesome um and it is twenty dollars for four packs so four masks on their website and then i've also got some more sheet masks these ones are from dermal and I buy these on Amazon. They're $13.99 for a pack of 24. I wouldn't say they work wonders or anything like that. They're just like what I had bought in the past and try. Um, and they're cheap. But like after trying those Tula masks, I might be switching to something more nourishing and better like that. Even though they're a bit more money. Um, just because like the effects of it were like so much better. So anyway, and there's all different kinds. They come in like these variety packs. So like there's, I don't know red ginseng, apricot, snail, olive, and grape. So anyway, if you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive mask though, these ones, these ones are good. And I mean, they're not bad, but they're not life-changing. You know? And then this one, I just have one of, but it's just a packet. It was this Recovery E Cucumber Eye Pads and they come in like a box. And my friend got me these, they're five pairs for $8.99. Um, and they're just like little cucumber things that you put over your, your eyes. Kind of interesting. I've only used one. I want to try the other ones again, um, just to see how it goes. But it was weird just like having to have my eyes closed for the time of the mask. It said 10 to 30 minutes. So like, that's a long time for me to have my eyes closed, you know? You know? Okay, my last set of wipes. I buy these on Amazon in a two pack for $8.98. And they're the cucumber guest wipes. I also have some Yes to Carrots. There's actually quite a few wipes in here still, they're dry. This is what I used to buy, but I was able to find these on Amazon um, and I hate going to the store, so I'm gonna buy these instead. But the red ones, one of my dogs like chewed on and so it had like holes in it and they got all dried out. So that's why I didn't get to finish that pack. Next is a feminine product. So these ones are the Always, what are they? Always Extra Protection daily liners. They're like longer and they're also quite a bit thicker. So if you are, so there's two things I like about this. So one, they don't come individually wrapped. They have like the peel on the back of it, but they don't come in individual plastic wrapping. And then they come in this 
paper carton so I can either recycle or burn this in my fire for heat. Um, and then the liners themselves don't come in plastic. The other thing I really like is they're a lot thicker. And so like, for instance, if you're pregnant and you sneeze and you're gonna pee a little, you know, these are bomb.com. Um, and they're not too bad. They're $3.24 if I'm at Walmart, $3.24. And then there's 40 liners in there. So um, usually I wear like one of these a day unless something happens. Um, usually just at the work day. So one of these will last me a month. So yeah, so I already have more packages of these and I'll definitely keep repurchasing them. Okay, so next I have these um, OxyClean MaxiForce gel sticks. I use these for stains and then for the armpit area in like my mesh type shirts. Excuse me, my mesh type, my mesh type shirts. Um, because like the deodorant and everything gets all weird in there and this is how I find at least like it gets them quite a bit cleaner. However, the packaging is not recyclable. Um, so I want to figure out a way how to make my own or a similar enough, you know, and to see if it works. So if you guys have any ideas on how to make your own um, kind of like stick or even just something that you can pre um, do your laundry with, like soak it in so that you know, it gets that extra nasty grime out because I hate that I have to throw this away. Oh, and the price. How much are they? I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, so I get these on Amazon and do the subscribe and save, but without the subscribe and save, it's $6.88 for two of them. One more cleaning product is this called Lemmy Shine Booster. I've been using this stuff for years. Um, because in Alaska, a lot of us have super hard water and it just makes everything in your dishwasher like orange and nasty and brown, and then it gets all over your dishes. Um, this completely like makes your dishwasher 100% sparkly clean, your dishes 100% sparkly clean. It's freaking amazing. It is amazing. Um, so the bigger bottle is the one that I buy, but it's $8.28 at Walmart. I bought it on Amazon before too, but it's cheaper at Walmart, so I usually try to buy it there. Um... But yeah, if you have hard water, let me, let me just tell you, it's the shiz. Okay, it's my last cleaning product. I had quite a few, but this one is called Otoban and it's an uh, odor eliminator. And I like this for a couple of reasons. One, I think it really works well on pet urine and carpet. And then it is also pretty dang cheap. So it's $9.98 for this container. And I use this in my spot bot. Um, and I just do like the concentrated because this is concentrated. It makes up to 32 gallons. So this will last me quite a bit. But yeah, I use it in my spot bot all the time for pet urine and it works awesome. I've had this one a really long time because we, at our old house, we didn't have carpet. So I stopped using it. And then when we moved here, I ended up finishing off this bottle. So it's like kind of dusty and dirty, but yee. So it looks like I've got three hair related items. Um, I'm trying to just, just use shampoo bars and then my Olaplex, um, but in the meantime, I'm trying to use up like other stuff that I have and it's not going very fast because then I end up using my shampoo bar and then this kind of stuff just sits there because I like my shampoo bar better. So anyway, this one is from Ivani, I don't want to say it, but it's from, I got this one at Costco, but I looked up on their website and this is $18. It's called the Soften Up Conditioner. Um, it took me forever to use. It's terrible. It didn't actually moisturize my hair. It kind of made it feel like stripped, stripped and really frizzy. The shampoo makes your hair greasy. So it's just like, I don't know, it's just terrible, the combination of them together. And it's like taking me eight years to use it. Um, but I don't know if I said this right. $18 on their website for 33.8 ounces. Um, and then I have this one from Pantene Pro-V. This is $6.09 and it's their three minute miracle. Um, I won't buy it again because I can't recycle this packaging. Um, it doesn't work bad or anything like that, but I definitely like my Olaplex better. And then that I can recycle those bottles. So yeah, I would not buy this one again. And then the last thing that I used was from Bedhead, the Rockaholic dry shampoo. Um, so this was, I spent $21.99, $21.99 on Ulta. Okay. And then I looked on Amazon when I was looking at prices and this was only like 10 or 11 bucks. And I was like, what the hell? 
I'm not rebuying it because it was like too expensive, but now I'm like, I don't know. Um, it didn't give me a rash like the other dry shampoos I've tried before, so that was nice, but I also didn't feel like it did the best job like getting the powder and the dryness in there. Um, I've had cheaper ones that work better, so I'm just, I'm not gonna repurchase this one. Packaging is cool, there's that. So I have quite a few different skin face um, type products. So the first one is this simple cleansing micellar water. It was $4.80. Um, and I use this one actually to refill my travel, like micellar water. I don't think I'm gonna buy it again. Um, it, there was nothing wrong with it or nothing bad. Um, and I may buy it if I ever want a micellar water. I just don't usually use one. Um, I just use like makeup remover. Um, and then I usually like use a toner on my face. So, but anyway, it wasn't bad at all. And it was very gentle and it didn't irritate my skin. This I have been using for years. I use it, I get these, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're like bumps on my arms and on my face and this takes them off. It, it really works good if I moisturize and use this regularly to exfoliate. Um, but I haven't been good about doing that, hence I only have like one of these used and it's been like several months. Um, so my bumps are like pretty bad right now. But yeah, this stuff works really good. It's a pretty like rough exfoliator. So that's why I use it on my arms. And then when I have, like I have the bumps right now because I haven't been doing it and taking care of my face. Um, so I can feel them a little bit. They were quite a bit bigger and then I used this and they um, it did take quite a bit off. So that is what this is good for. But yeah, it is just so you know, it is pretty like intense, intense exfoliator. But this is uh, $3.48 on Amazon, but I know you can get it at Walmart, uh, Target, anywhere else really. Um, and then this was a face lotion that I used. I used this one for night. It was a Hydro Bio Cream by Bioderma. It was $24.90 um, and you can get it on Amazon. I think, I don't know for sure, but I feel like I got this at Ulta or like Sephora. But I didn't find it on their website unless I'm like just losing my mind. So I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure this is where I got that unless I got it on Amazon, but I just really don't think I did. Um, but it wasn't bad. It was a good moisturizer. I'm not sure if I'll buy it again. I'm just trying a bunch of different ones and I'm not sure. I kind of like want to find like my staple thing that I love and then do that. So I haven't figured that out yet, but it was good. It's just, it's just not, you know, it didn't blow my socks off. Blow my socks off. This stuff though, this blows my socks off. So this is the Kuchi um, shaving cream. It's from Pure Romance. My sister was selling Pure Romance and I had bought in like quite a few of these and I love shaving with them. Like I have really sensitive skin. These work amazing. I bought like a couple of the unscented ones from her. They didn't make them. Now she doesn't sell it anymore. So I've been trying to find where I can get more. I think I have one more bottle and then I believe I found some on Amazon I'm gonna try. Um, or I was gonna try to look on like some of those other websites where you can buy from people. Cause I hate doing like the pyramid thing and finding a seller and having to go through them. When it was my sister was fine, but like other than that, I'm not gonna do it, you know? Just not gonna do it. But this crap is bomb. And it's $22 for a container. It's not recyclable at all, which sucks, but it's really good. If I can figure out how to make my own that, you know, I can shave with and works really good still, I would love to do that. So if you guys have any recipes or ideas, put them down. But other than that, I'll just keep using this until I can figure out something better. Um, I've got some vitamins here. So first I've got two dog supplements. So this is the Cosequin, yeah, Cosequin Maximum Strength um, Joint Health Supplement. And I buy these at Costco and I don't know the price on them, but I looked up, you can get um, these on Amazon for $75.98 for two of them. There's 180 tablets in them. I've been giving these to my dogs for years. And like when I first rescue a dog and their hips are hurting and then they start using this, you can dramatically tell a difference. Like they can walk better, they're in less pain. So highly recommend this stuff. I've used it for years. And then this um, I put in my dog's food and I know I've used way more of these. Um, they just probably got recycled already, but this is the no scoot supplement plus pumpkin. Um, for those of you guys that know that pumpkin is good for your puppy's digestive system. I've tried just feeding my dogs pumpkin. They don't like it. 
Um, but this seems to work. I put it over their food and then put the fish oil on top of it and they kind of don't notice. Um, but this just kind of helps their, you know, their healthy digestion, their large intestines and um, just kind of their glands. I don't know if it actually helps like prevent their glands from getting like clogged and full. I don't know. Um, but I've had dogs get pretty sick with digestive issues. And so I ended up putting them on like a regular supplement to just help or prevent that from happening in the future. And this one is $11.99 on Amazon and I have it in my subscribe and save. So I get it quite a bit cheaper than that. Or not quite a bit, a little bit, like 5% cheaper than that. Okay, next I have prenatals. So this one I was using before I switched to these. And this is the Vitamin Code Raw Prenatal. Um, and this one was a bit more expensive. I think it was like $60 for 180 of them. Um, and then in addition to that, you had to take three a day, which was the only thing I didn't like about this, that you had to take three a day and that's just hard for me. I'd rather just take two at the same time and not have to like split them up. You had to do like one breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's just not feasible. So that's why it took me so long to use this bottle because I would try to use other ones instead of use this one. But other than that, it was a good prenatal. Um, I got a recommendation from someone else. So yeah, I, w I wouldn't change your brand, but who wants to take three separate times a day? I mean, who got time for that? I don't got time for that. Um, so this is the prenatal that I've been taking now. I've been taking it for several months, maybe like six months or so. Um, but this is from Pure and it's just their prenatal nutrition. These are the 60 capsules. So it's one month's worth because you take two a day. And then these are about like $25. You can get them on their website. You can probably get them from, I get them from a um, midwifery here in town, but I'm sure there's various places you can get them. I don't remember if I looked on Amazon, if you can find these, but they're good stuff. And you can really tell a difference like with your nails and your hair and everything just from taking these. So I have like almost no makeup products in here. I'm just realizing. And I think that's because like, I actually don't do my makeup that much. I like doing it, but I don't actually do it that much in my everyday life. I usually go bare face naked. So there's that. I've got three different deodorants. So this one was because I was trying to try out a native brand. I've been trying to find a good natural deodorant for some time that doesn't give me a rash that actually works and I don't reek. Um, haven't found one yet, but this one um, still gave me a little bit of a rash. So the full size of this is $12. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't purchase that again just because of the rash. Other than that, it was like fine. Um, and then these ones I just buy usually because they're cheap and I use these like I'll put on natural deodorant and then like halfway through the day I gotta put on regular deodorant because like it's just disgusting and I stink. So anyway, this is the one from Degree and this one's $4.29 and this is the one I usually buy from Suave and it's because it's $1.99. So it's quite a bit cheap. Okay, um, so a couple more personal care items. So the toothpaste that I use and I hate using it, I want like a natural toothpaste, but I have to use the Sensodyne because I grind my teeth and they hurt. Um, so this really helps with that. And this is what I use at $6.82 at Walmart and it's the gentle whitening formula, but yeah. Someone needs to go out there and invent like a Sensodyne tooth tab so I don't have to use the container because you can't recycle it, you have to throw it away. And then um, last is, not last, but this is from Summer's Eve. It's their Delicate Blossom Cleansing Wash. Um, some people can just use water down there on their hoo-ha, but I cannot, I just cannot. And now I don't want to use regular soap. So this is what I use and I've never had any irritant or any issues with it. Um, and it makes me feel clean. Cause like if I just use water, I don't feel clean. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I just don't feel clean. So maybe I'm just a stinky girl. So I have all these deodorant issues and, and that issue. <laughs> okay, next is the nose strips that I use. And I use these actually on my nose and like my chin and I'll do one this way and one down that way. Um, but these are from Sace Lady and I buy them on Amazon. They're $8.99 for a pack of 24. They're harsh, I will say they're harsh. Um, 
and but they freaking work good they pull out the blackheads and the way that i get them to work is i put water on underneath put them on and then i take a wet wash rig kind of like you're doing a kid tattoo and i kind of put it on so that it all like forms to my face it takes longer to dry but it gets the job done so i used 10 of these i don't do them very often but when my pores are looking really nasty and super clogged i definitely do these strips Okay, I'm down to just like a tiny few, a couple things. So this is from Vaseline. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's their creme brulee um, what is it, lip therapy. And I use, I've used these in the past. I typically like to make my own chapstick, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I ended up buying some of these. Um, the packaging is a five, so it's recyclable and it's $2.08. And I do like it. I think it does a good job, but I'd much rather make my own and it does have a good smell you know that creme brulee smell um this is from benefit it's their gimme brow and i use the shade one i love this stuff it's like the perfect shade on my brows i love everything about it but it is expensive as crap this is 24 dollars for this tiny little thing and i haven't been able to find one that i like just as much um so i've repurchased this a few times and i'll probably continue to until i can find something I like better or just as good that's cheap or cheaper than $24 because dang that's really expensive <clears throat> um this one was $22 but I actually got it from um a boxycharm and it was from the brow gal it I actually really liked this I loved how it wore and it performed but it was way too dark for me the color was like this dark brown and then it ended up drying up because I wasn't using it um, and then I looked um, on their website to see if they had better shades so I could try this one out. Um, and they didn't. They only had like, I think three shades, three shades for all of the brow, the brow tint gel. So um, that kind of sucked. So the brow gal, whoever you are, Ton Tanya Crooks, make more shades. Make an awesome blonde one so I can buy this because it was good stuff. It was good stuff. Um, next is an essential oil that I bought on Amazon. It was the Good Night, and it was $17.99. Um, I would not buy this again. I've started buying doTERRA, um, and I think it's like the Serenity one, and it, it is a little bit more expensive, um, but it might be a little bit bigger, honestly. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I'll just prefer to use that versus something like I just don't know very much about, and I, did, I just don't know very much about this, you know, but it's for the Good Night Blend. I bought it on Amazon, but that's all that's all it says. Oh, it's from Healing Solutions. The solution for healing. Yes. And then um last was this used to be like the only mascara I used before I got into makeup. And this was the Rocket Volume Express from Maybelline. Not the waterproof, just the regular one. And it has like this, ooh, this weird like funky wand. And this was like it. This was all I used for mascara. Um, but that time has passed, you know, I've moved on to much better things, much better mascara, and I will not be repurchasing, uh, this cause you can just get so much more volume and, you know, be looking way better than, than this gave you. Okay. All right. That's it. That's the end of the empties basket. So I hope you enjoyed this hanging out with me, going through my trash. Um, cause that's like everyone's dream, right? Going through someone else's trash. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below and hopefully next time I have a few more makeup items in there. I don't know. We'll see. So thanks for watching, hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.